Denmark has a clear strength, world-class radar technology that detects even small drones with pinpoint accuracy. But detection alone isn't enough. To stop hostile drones, you need effectors, and there are many options. Kinetic interceptors, jammers and nets, electronic warfare, and increasingly, directed energy weapons, such as high-energy lasers. One Danish success story is Weibel Scientific, the Doppler radar specialist whose Zenta systems are used internationally and drive the country's export profile. Their radars give Denmark an excellent eye over the sky. On the effector's side, companies like Israel's Raphael offer laser systems, for example the 10 kilowatt light beam, that can rapidly neutralize small UAVs and even swarms at low per engagement cost and using electrical power rather than rockets. These systems can be vehicle mounted and are efficient to operate. The snag is political. There isn't a single technical barrier that makes Israeli systems impossible to buy, but public debate, NGO challenges, and political resistance at Christiansborg have complicated procurement and cooperation, slowing or blocking some deals. That means Denmark often has the detection capability without an immediately available, integrated counterweapon. Yet the upside is obvious. Denmark hosts dozens of high-tech firms and thousands of skilled engineers. With the right political decision and investment, Danish industry could combine homegrown radar excellence with indigenous or partner defectors, creating a national, climate-friendly, and cost-efficient drone defense capability. The talent is here. They're ready to get to work.